Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Rashida and on today's video, I'm going to be talking about the things you should never do as a student nurse here in the UK. If you are a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. It means a lot to this growing channel. If you are already subscribed to this channel, thanks for coming back and watching all over again. But if you are seeing my face for the very first time, you are welcome. Please do well to click the subscribe button and help this growing channel. Thank you. So this video is supposed to be like a part two of my previous video, which was things that student nurses do on placement here in the UK. So I've already recorded this video before, but due to some reasons that I don't know, I lost that video. So here I am recording this video all over again because I know you really need this information. And this is what this channel is all about anyways. So thanks for subscribing. So the first thing on my list on the things you should never do as a student nurse in the UK is never compromise patient confidentiality. So during your placement, you are likely to be posted to the ward. And in the ward, we usually have like printed and over notes. So as a student nurse, you'll be given a copy of that handover. Please always ensure you keep those handover sheets safe because it contains information such as patient's name, patient date of birth, their hospital number, their diagnosis, and the doctor's plan for them. So don't leave your handover lying around. Don't put it on the floor or even take it home. Remember, a lot of people come into the ward to visit their family members and their friends. So imagine a patient's family member picking up an handover sheet where you left it carelessly. So this person that has picked up the handover sheet, the person has information regarding other patients in that ward so it's really not some it's really something you should never do never leave your handover sheets flying around so don't leave your handover sheets flying around and don't leave your patient's record let's say their files their medical notes don't leave it on the table unattended so if you take it from the drawer make sure you are returning it back as soon as you are done also don't use your patient information for entertainment or for personal reasons and avoid talking about your patients or their conditions in public areas number two on my list is do not administer medication without supervision always remember you are still a student that is learning and you are supposed to be working with a registered professional imagine a patient telling you they are in pain and they would like to have some paracetamol so you as a student nurse you went into the medication locker you pop to 500 milligram of paracetamol for them and you gave it to them and you gave it to the patient and the patient used it. Unknowingly to you, the nurse you are working with has administered paracetamol for this same patient about one hour ago. So what have you done wrong? Number one, you have worked without supervision. Number two, you have made a medication error because paracetamol should be administered four to six hourly. Number three, you have compromised patient safety. So imagine if reverse was the case. I mean, let's say immediately the patient told you they were in pain and would like to have some paracetamol. You went ahead and told the nurse you were working with. The nurse will have gone ahead to tell the doctor that this patient is still having pain even after having paracetamol one hour ago. Maybe the patient will have been prescribed a stronger pain relief such as morphine. So never administer medication without supervision or perform a task that you've not been trained to do. Remember to always stick to the task that you have been trained and authorized to do and always remember patient safety at all times. Yeah, like that's just it. It's all about the patient. So you don't want to compromise the patient's safety so always talk to the nurse you are working with, no matter, no matter how little you think it is. That little thing that you are thinking about, it might be something that even has a bigger distance. So always make sure you speak to the nurse you are working with or any other person that you see around. Don't just do task with task because you feel like maybe you're already a final year student and it don't matter. No, it matters. Always inform them. If they now tell you that, oh, they are confident in your ability to do something okay that you can maybe you can go ahead then but always make sure you inform the nurse you are working with before doing anything okay third on my list on the things you should never do as a student nurse while on placement is do not falsify documentation when you are told to write care plans or write patient observations please do not try to falsify your writing because anything you put down is what is going to be used to give like 
medical interventions to your patient. So please, anything that has to do with falsifying documentation, please don't get into it. If you are not sure about how to do something, it's better to ask. Don't try to say, oh, I'm just going to write anything down. No, it's not going to be nice for your patient and the kind of care they are going to be receiving. So always make sure that anything you are writing, it is accurate and it is true. Try to be honest at all times. Fourth on my list is do not act like you know it all while on patient. <sighs> this one, eh? Hmm. Like you are going to meet different kinds of people while you're on placement, but be a different kind of person. Do not act like you know it all. Like some people have been working in the healthcare system prior to starting nursing school and they have quite a bit of experience. So while you are on placement, even if you know something, just try to relax because the way someone else is going to explain it to you or maybe when you're seeing a procedure for a second time, you might, you might be surprised that you even be learning one or two things from it. So if you always act like you know it all, people that are supposed to teach you something or explain things to you, they might just be like, oh, she always act like she knows it all anyway. So there's no point telling her or involving her. Give people the chance to teach you so you can learn and grow. So fifth on my list is don't ever refuse an offer for a learning opportunity. Don't ever refuse that offer. During your placement, you might be lucky to have like ward managers or mentors who look out for learning opportunities for you, such as going for X-ray, like ECG, EEG, patients, hospital transfer, you know things like that you might really have you might have like very good managers or mentors who will look out for all those kind of things for you who will look out for all those kind of things for you because they have you in mind because they are just looking for opportunities for anything you can learn from basically they will inform you if they see any even if you've seen it before tell them you don't mind seeing it again and you'll definitely learn something new the next time you'll be watching that procedure or doing that thing so you definitely learn something new. For instance, I had my first placement in a critical care department and everyone was like, it's very cruel of my school to send me to such a specialized unit without having like a word experience. But I didn't see it that way. I was determined to learn everything they were doing in that unit. Every time someone walks up to me and be like, Pashida, have you seen an endotracheal tube being inserted? I'll be like, no. And if it's something I've seen already, I'll be like, yes, I've seen it, but I don't mind watching again, if that's okay with you. And most times they'll be like, yeah, of course. So don't ever say no. Like the more you watch all those things, you, you will definitely be getting a new experience. So during that placement, I had the opportunity of seeing how tracheostomy is done, how ET tube is being inserted, how arterial line is being inserted, how a CVC line is being inserted catheterization, doing last offices, which is simply the physical care that you give to your body after they have passed away. I also attended multidisciplinary team meetings, which is something I didn't get to do in other placements. So imagine I didn't take the opportunity to do it at that placement. So never say no to any learning opportunity. And all these experiences were really good for my learning. So making use of all the learning opportunities you get while on placement will be very good towards your nursing journey. The sixth thing on my list of things you should never do while on placement as a student nurse is avoid sharing personal information or your religious belief with your colleagues or your patients. No, don't do it. Let your personal information be personal to you. Let your religious background be personal to you. You don't have to share your religious belief or your culture, the way you do your things. You don't have to share it with others. You can talk about things like generally, but don't be like, oh, this is how it has to be done. No, no one, no one cares, honestly. Your patients and colleagues come from various religious and cultural backgrounds and, and it is important to respect and uphold their belief. And also sharing personal religious belief can somehow blur professional boundaries, kind of make patients feel uncomfortable around you. Primary focus while on placement is to learn and provide quality care to patients regardless of their cultural belief and their religious background. The seventh thing of my list on things you should never do as a student nurse while on placement is 
avoid getting into arguments with your supervisors your mentors or the nurses you are working with it's not just worth it for some reason this can have a negative impact on how people perceive you and interact with you it can also be interpreted as poor communication or poor interpersonal skills they may also escalate it and it will be documented in your table pad which will be open for your future assessors to see and you, you won't really like something like that if you end up having issue with your supervisors or any nurse you are working with try to go through the escalation links inform the ward manager you also have like placement linkedin like your lecturers in school who always be in charge of things like that so ring them up send them an email explain the issue to them and they should be able to sort you out the eighth thing on my list on the things you should not do as a student nurse while on placement in the uk is something that is quite simple but it's worth listening to do not take more than the required time for your break yes i know you're a student nurse and sometimes it's very tiring going on placement on like whole days and dark nights and yeah i know it's very very stressful and even while on placement you get to that effect is still in you you sometimes you feel tired and all that but please while on break don't take more than the required amount of time that has been given to you for your break it can be documented in your table pad under attendance and punctuality and you won't want things like that to affect you the ninth thing on my list is don't assume don't ever assume that some tasks are beneath you as a student nurse i'm talking about task like i'm talking about task task like answering buzzers cleaning commodes or cleaning water on the floor let's say you saw water on the floor close to your patient's bed and you've already seen that this is an hazard instead of you should just clean the water and just forget about it you are thinking of how you want to go and call somebody that's going to come and clean the water and all that because you feel that that task is beneath you so don't ever think that any tax is beneath you all these things are just learning opportunities and before you know you, you are going to be done so don't ever feel like such tasks they are beneath you also there might be times in the world like in the morning when, when things are always very busy let's say the nurse you are working with she's asking you a favor that can you help with waking patients up and getting them ready for breakfast don't be like no i can't do that i need to do like money medication with you right now so i know that medication administration is part of the things you'll be learning as a student nurse but it doesn't work that way the work can get very busy don't tell her that no you can't get patients ready for breakfast and you need to do medication with her like right there right now the best thing is to try to communicate your intentions with her then you guys can reach an agreement that maybe later in the afternoon you'll be able to do the medication rounds together it is very important to be able to find that balance between when your assistance is needed for something and the things you need to be doing on placement so always try to be flexible in all your approach the tenth and most important thing on my list of things you should not do as a student nurse while on placement is when you make a mistake don't ever shy away from it try to own up to it reflect on it and get better on it next time always ask for help when needed don't forget your student knows and everything it's all a learning process for you don't be too hard on yourself mistakes happen but it's important for you to own up and reflect on it if you started nursing school as a matured student like me and you remember the thousands of pounds you have paid as school fees you also know that it is important for you to take charge of your own learning ask questions as much as you need to and don't be afraid to seek help when you need it to round this up don't neglect self-care take care of your physical self and your mental well-being to avoid burnout if you've watched this video to this moment i hope you learned one or two new things please do well to subscribe give it a like share and comment in the comment section if there's anything you want me to talk about regarding nursing in the uk thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye